welcome back to my channel. Look, I snuck out to the Dollar Tree. Um, as of today, when I'm filming this, normally I put a hole up the night that I film it, but I have already videos uploaded. As of today, March 18th, 2020, we were actually out doing all of our errands. And while we were picking up our Panera lunch, um, thank you for the gift card. You know who you are. Uh, finally got to use it. Um, as we were picking up our Panera, um, the lady was actually, we did like an order ahead and you go inside and pick it up. Um, she actually told Jimmy, you can't come in. We're closing the lobby. She said it was state, state mandated, but then we saw other store, other people were in other lobbies of other restaurants. So I don't really know where the rule lies, but they were only going to be doing uh, drive through and delivery. So, um, while we were out. There was a quite a few people in the Dollar Tree. I'll tell you that. They still had tissues. They still had paper towels um, because they were limiting, you know, limiting, limiting, limiting them for a while. Um, but you know, if the rest of the world would, we wouldn't be in the same place. Um, I'm gonna put that to the side because there's other things too. But I got one thing that I saw on um, Beth from while you were cleaning. Uh, did her. Dollar Tree haul and shop with me today and she showed this in the background and I just had to have it because everything because the rainbow the sloth the unicorn horn I mean come on come on I need to stand up I mean it's a really good piece of thick MDF stand up and I almost think like oh you turn it over and see could you do it this it's like a poop emoji shape could you do something different with it you know but I just think he's just everything. Um, they had other ones. They had a unicorn and a cat with glasses. I'm glad I'm not looking at that from the front. Excuse me? I'm glad I'm looking at that from the front. Does the back look like a poop emoji? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I said. Um, I went, one of the things I specifically went for were these little snacks to go, protein snacks. I was looking for some of each, but they only had turkey in stock. This is cracked black pepper turkey, sunflower kernels, and dried cranberries. Um, and I picked up two. Each one has nine grams of protein. I um, cut the package right here before I open it all the way. And I give the cranberries or whatever the fruit is to Jim. So I picked up two of them. And then I also picked up four of the teriyaki Jack Links. Each one has seven grams of protein and five grams of sugar. So um, I didn't realize they had that much sugar for just seven grams of protein, that's a lot. Um, and I picked up five of them um, because they're good for a while and hopefully they don't taste like soap. Just saying, I went one time, I had Emily taste it for the first time and she's like, oh, I don't like that. And then I went, I was like, you don't like this? And I finished it hers and I was like, took the first bite and I'm like, oh, it tastes like soap. That's not how it's supposed to taste. <laughs> um, I found a few things Easter related. These are stinking adorable. You get two. This one is all of these really cute bunny silhouettes. And this one is this beautiful stripe that coordinates. I think that would be wonderful in a DIY. I do. They're so farmhouse. Every other bunny is a little gingham bunny. He's so cute. Um, well, not every other one, but you see that. They're they're sporadically sp sporadic. I hope not sporadic. Um, name that movie. <laughs> and I bought this because I actually saw somebody. First of all, I didn't see these before. That's one thing. Um, I actually saw somebody in a, do it something in a DIY like take it unwrap it, wrap it in um, nautical rope. But I, of course, my brain went like uh, in another direction. So I bought it. I'm going to do it, use it in a DIY. It comes with three foam eggs at the top that are just gently placed in there. Do you see how much they're moving? And the handle, apparently the handle comes off, she said, once she had it unwrapped. Um, and then this is just that glittery stuff that we take off all the time. So I bought that. And Wait, there's more. No. <laughs> okay. I 
I found this guy. I didn't find this guy before, so I had to get him. I had to share him. I don't know if I'm going to do anything to him. He's really cute the way he is. But there is this really cute, one of those tinsley bunnies. Now, this tinsel isn't so sparkly. That's kind of why I like it. The word Easter is more sparkly. It's not glitter, actually. It's just fake glitter paper. Um, but he's so cute. Like, even his ears aren't that shiny hologram paper. They're like a fake. That's not really glitter. It's like paper. That looks like glitter. I don't even know how to describe it. But he's really cute. And I don't think I want to do anything to him hugging that carrot. Look at him hugging that carrot like it's the last one. And his little blue and white gingham bow. Right? If I swapped it out for a black and white gingham bow, he'd be more farmhouse, right? Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. If you are interested in taking him apart for a DIY, his ears in the back are solid. Do you see that? And everything else is wiry cagey, so. And uh, his carrot top is felt, and it's also solid on the back, okay? I thought he was super cute. What's dropping all over the place? These flags. Sorry. Ah. I found Easter ice cube trays, which you know we don't even use for ice cubes. We use for other things, but this one's really cute. So the bottom row is a girl bunny because she got a flower in her hair or a feminine bunny. And the this one is sort of on the masculine side with his bow tie. And each tray makes 10 cubes, but of course, compound butter, candy. You can use these silicone molds for other things as well. Don't forget. But <laughs> I had to get this one. There's another ice cube tray. What? Of course I had to get that one. Guys, of course I had to get that. That is a bunny butt ice cube tray. I'm just saying. Have a little piece of tail in your cocktail. <laughs> cocktail, get it? A bunny tail in your cocktail. So this I got for sure. Maybe you want to put that away or you're okay. These I grabbed five of because each one is only two sacks. And I just thought, yes, please. So I don't know if you've seen these anywhere. They are freaking adorable. They're made out of sort of like a cotton, uh, cotton, woven cotton. I, I, that's the way I'm going to describe it. And the ears are also like a cotton and they are adorable. They have a little pink cinch at the top and they are so cute. So I bought five, which I bought 10 um, because why not? And they only had one ear pattern in my store. I don't know if they do come in other ear patterns, but the stripes was all they had at my store. So let's see. Last bag. Oh, before I get into the last bag, is that it for Easter? Yeah, because the rest is kitchen stuff. I want to show you the spring. Here, baby, can you put those away too? What do I? This stuff. Your bag? The bag, the Easter bag that you just had. Where's the, did you take the flags? Yeah, I'm sorry. I did not realize they weren't. It's okay. It's not done yet. It's okay. I found these flags in the spring section. I just absolutely love them. This one I kind of feel like is almost exactly like the one from last year, or it might be the exact one from last year, but um, around here, it gets blown off. There we have we have quite the wind here in the foothills of the Ozark Mountains. Um, and even now, Jimmy has put a cork on the end of the flagpole. It still manages to fly off. So I picked up another one. I told him, I'm like, it was a dollar, please. The one I was really upset with one was the one that I got on clearance from Dollar General. That was really long and really nice. And that one went bye-bye. So this is really cute. It says, bless our home and it's sort of like can you see up close to you see over like the wood grain paneling situation with really pretty font and flowers and then this one it says fresh lemonade and i figured this one's good for the summer well kind of like between spring and when we put out our americana stuff how's that and again it's got um sort of a galvanized look almost to 
Can I tell you something? This background looks nothing like this picture. The background looks like really like galvanized behind the words. And look, it looks almost, it looks almost just white. I mean, obviously you could see it's not, but hmm, unusual. But anyways, we picked up that one as well. And finally, the last things I got, the last bag are all from the kitchen wares with some new items that I'm dying to show you. First thing is I bought another margarita glass. So if you've been around my channel for a while, you saw that we made a really cool stand um, from Fab Tacks. We made a really cool stand for a plate or something. I actually have a piece of box art up there. Um, but what I'm gonna do is something different but similar, and I can't wait to share it with you, honestly. So I hope it works. If it works, just see it. If it doesn't work, you might not see it. You might see something else. I don't know. So I got one of those. And there really was just two in the store, so I really bought the last one, which was kind of cool. I picked up a doily. This one is on the ivory. Uh, there's two, by the way. This one is on the ivory side. You can't really tell here so much, or maybe you can, but when they're next to the white ones, you can tell. Um, and this is for a upcoming DIY. There's two doilies. They're 12 inch. It says 12 inch by 12 inch, but it's obviously a circle. Just saying. Now, I feel like we need to have a support group. Yeah, Shoppers Anonymous. Well, not Shoppers Anonymous, because that already exists, but specifically about dish towels. So first I will share with you, these dish towels are 49% cotton, excuse me, 59% cotton, 41% polyester, but they do feel like a cotton terry. And I got two of them, and I don't know why they're out now, but they say thankful, grateful, blessed. But I guess there's always a good time to be thankful, grateful, and blessed, or be reminded of it. Um, and they're just beige with sort of a very neutral tone writing. And this is very Ray Dawn and very country looking, right? But, just saying. They're like the cotton sackcloth. So this one says cook, eat, and be happy. Yeah. And it's a red pot with black polka dots on the back of the towel. And there's sort of like the um, flower sacks. I was just gonna say sackcloth, but flower sack works for me too. 100% um, cotton. This one says love cooking. And it has a really cute, it's red and got that. I feel like this is a semi-popular combination, especially with certain styles of decor, but it's got like that aqua colored ink with the red ink with a little splash of yellow in it. And if you look on the back, the little hats, every once in a while, there's a red one, it's really cute. Then there's this one that says roll with it. I feel like I saw this, but I didn't. I don't know, I must've seen it online. Um, and this is in red and white and navy blue with a touch of gray. I think this would be very appropriate to keep out during the Americana season as well. And it's got like little tick marks on the back, dashes and dots all over. But this one is my favorite. I'm kind of excited about the one with the pot, but. <sighs> this one says, because I love play on words. You know that, right? That's why. This one says forks to be rest. <laughs> Wait, I can't even say it forks to be reckoned with and it has orange beige and i think that's black um forks on them and then the back has got beige polka dots and every once in a while there's an orange one and the writing is in black and orange and i just really do think it's so cute <laughs> you know i just found that art that was um for forks sake is that what it said jim oh what's for what for what the forks for dinner yeah is that what it said that. so Oh, that's not everything. So then the last thing I've never seen at the Dollar Tree, I've never seen before. We have ones like this that mom has had for years that are silicone. And when I saw these, I just had to pick up four sets because there's three in each set and they are pot and pan protectors. Pose for the thumbnail. Um, 
Well, first of all, I was thinking, okay, that's gray felt. So I'm saying if we can use some gray felt and some DIYs. But if you don't know what a pot and pan protector is, it's just that. So basically you layer them between your pots and it keeps your pots from scratching the pots that are underneath them. Um, you don't need one on top though, unless you're planning on putting something on top of that. Um, but I just really thought that this was a great deal. One is seven inches, one's 10 inches, and one's 14 inches. You get three per pack. They are a lightweight felt, but that's really all you need. And um, I got four sets, so that's a total of 12. Yes, I have that many pots. The real reason is um, I don't have a lot of, I have a little bit of use for seven inches, but not as much use. I basically was saying I need four of the 14 inch ones for my big skillet, my big roaster like that. So I bought four sets to have it that way. And I thought that was a really go cool find that I'd never seen at the Dollar Tree before. You go Dollar Tree. And that's everything guys, did I make it? That's oh, a little one. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did give it a thumbs up, stay safe, stay healthy, stay out of the store. The stuff will be there when everything's done. Um, and if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do a little bell will pop up right here. And when you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And don't forget to share with friends and family. Anybody know who can't get out of the house and wants to get that sensation that you might be shopping? Does that make sense? Hopefully that does, because that's what my intention with this video is. Being um, not part of my regular schedule, I actually said to Jimmy, you know, and instead of doing an every other week Dollar Tree thing, if we could go today in case we're all on lockdown and this way I can have some content for you guys some new stuff um but that's it so as always you guys take care god bless and see you next time bye